Can you tell me what is this obsession that Pakistani women have with Turkey Turkish men? <laughs> Turkish men. No, she, no, but no, 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 what the f <laughs> What the shit did you just <laughs> No, actually though, what is this? What the hell? Don't ever do that shit again. I don't know. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> Stop, freaking. Do you feel for me sometimes? I feel for you. No, custom say, do you I feel for no, you. actually? Let oh. him live his life. Thanks, <laughs> say it louder. Let him live his life. Say it one more time. Let him live his life. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I'm asking you how it makes you feel. It made I'm not me asking sad. you to solve this damn math problem. <laughs> it made me Shit, sad. Bro. Would you ever integrate my future husband? Inter whatever, interrogate your future husband. She that. keeps telling me, go find a doctor, go find a oh doctor. Oh my god, what is this freak? It's recording. It's recording. Okay. It's recording. Hello. Are you on live? We live. Two, three, two, one. one. Action. Action. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Chai Talk. How you guys doing? All the beautiful people out there, as you guys hear from the voice beside me. I got none other than my sister, my younger sister. It takes a lot of freaking convincing to get all these other loafers in the house to join the podcast. Because me and Mama G are the only ones that just talk. And I want to give you guys, I've always wanted to get Eamon on it. Because I see that, you know, like it's good to switch things up a bit, right? Eamon, it's good to hear from you from time to time. Yes, it really I is. Know. So, so, so don't take too long. The people want to hear from us. You know, we, me and Momoji just arguing a lot. It, it, it's just everybody keeps hearing me and Momoji argue, right? Tell us what was going on right before we started this episode. Oh, a lot. <laughs> Tell was us happening. what's going on. A lot was happening. Yeah, what was going on? Momoji just started talking, talking, talking. <laughs> Yo. And what did you start talking? Back, 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 back. Also, just speak up just a little bit because. So, Eamon's like Papa G, a little <clears throat> soft spoken. So you got Eamon, like, look. Yeah, but, I, yeah. But do you see, like, how, like, I'm, like, dude. Yeah, I can't speak like him. He I talks know, way too loud. Yeah, not so speak like me, but just, like, you know, like, like I, let's hear you. Like, I'm <laughs> like, I can't, I can barely. I, I don't know what downstairs. to say. Bro, it's not about know what to say. I just want to hear you. I can freaking hear mom downstairs. I need, I need to be able to hear you. Okay, can Should you? Should I put headphones in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Put headphones in. So if I talk a lot this episode, I talk a lot in every episode. That's fine. You do all the talking. Problem is, I want her to no, but I want you. I'm gonna force you to talk. That's it. I'm gonna force you to talk, and they're gonna. Have to, I'm gonna force you to talk. I don't want to keep talking. You should talk too. I got some questions. I'm gonna ask you. Oh, so that's what this episode is gonna be. Yes. You got some questions. Yeah. I wanted to give some advice to Amy, maybe you know some brother sister bonding, and those that have sisters and brothers and siblings. Like this is just a sit down. You know, have your child just talk about just you guys. If you guys have siblings, watch it with your siblings. Just have a, let's just have a nice sibling chat. You know what I'm saying? It'll be fun. And the questions that Eamon asked me, you know, if you're watching with your sibling, go and ask them. Ask them the same thing. See what their answer is going to be. And uh, we'll go from there. But um, exactly. But yeah, right before this, I just want to let you guys know it was chaos. Everything I you guys made see a lot of videos. So oh, you did? I did. You did? <laughs> Behind the scenes, yes. It's all the arguing, all this talking, all this, that is not just on Chai Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, our Chai Talk is 24-7 in the house, 24 right? 24-7. Basically, exactly. Momoji's going off at me like, and I'm like, bro, just leave me alone. Like, Momoji Chordo, please, please, Niki go Chordo. Like, I'm just, I mean, do you She's feel, never going to leave me alone. do you feel for me sometimes? I do. No, but genuinely, I like, do, I'm but I'm not because she's not. No, oh. but like, Dar a little bit. Like, do you feel, do you feel like, damn, man, he's like, like, yeah. wow, like, Momoji's on his, like, on his ass or like, <laughs> or just like, damn, everything's like, do you feel for me sometimes? <laughs> I feel for you. No, custom say, do you? I feel for no, you. actually. I do. I do. I feel for you. Do you? Yes. I've never heard you say that, though. That's why. Like, do you ever just be like, damn, man? Damn, like, I, say in, my head. I like say in my head. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say in your head? Damn, bro. I feel bad for you. <laughs> why? In what ways, huh? In all ways. Uh, anyways, it's just like a little, it's just like the littlest things that all families go through. It's just a little of things. Like, I, I literally just stepped, my, if I just stepped through the house, I had lunch with a friend. I literally just stepped through that. She's like, oh, she's like, oh, you're always just going out. You're just always go eating. You didn't bring back anything for us to eat. You're always going here. You're always going there. Lunch in. I'm like, bro, like, I just got Let home. Let him live his life. Thanks. <laughs> Say it louder. Let him live his life. Say it one more time. Let him live his life. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let we live my life. Please <laughs> let me live my life. Anyways, Eamon, how are you doing? Good, good. How are you? Good, good. Alhamdulillah, man. Um, 
Well, I I mean, we're not going to get too much into your life, but like, is there anything like any, you don't really have any updates? Here. I don't have any you updates. Have no updates. <laughs> so let's well, talk about yeah, it. There's no updates, no license, no, no, this. If the first time she does get it, I'll trust me, you guys will be the first ones to know. Um, there's no school updates the same. Like you just, Everything you know, just same, inshallah, yeah. you know, almost, almost wrapping oh up. My so goodness. I know you don't want to talk too much about that, but um, okay. So you just want to ask me questions. Is that what this is going to be about? Yeah. Can yeah, because you? you clearly don't like when I ask you questions that like you have nothing to say, huh? Yeah. Well, are you excited for Ahmed's wedding? Oh, I'm very excited. Are you though? Yes, I'm very. You say very that excited. you are, but I don't feel like you show much emotion when we're like, oh yeah, yeah, you do. You and funny thing is, I didn't post these videos, but I was recording it. Mama and Amen were arguing back and forth about the outfits. That Amen's like, I'm wearing this outfit. Mom's like, no, I'm the one who chose this. Amen's like, no, I found it first. Tell me Bro. about that. What's going on with the outfit scene? Very chaotic, uh -huh. especially finding outfits with Mama. Yeah, right? So what's going on? Mama, like... She found an outfit for me, and she didn't even tell me about it, and she showed it to me. I was like, whoa, whoa, what? This is a Mindy outfit? <laughs> I'm like, well, why? Where's my opinion on this? Yeah, why? Well, she just chose it for you? She just chose it for me. Are oh, you going to wear this? I'm like... I don't like this. I'm yeah, not going to wear this. Why don't you get a choice of your own? Like, why exactly. is she just saying? So did you get upset at that? I really did. I did. I got really upset Yeah, they about started that. going at it. So I'm after. like, nope, nope. Let me, f I'll find ideas and I'll show it to you. And if you like it, I'll probably get it then. Yeah, but what if she's like, no, you have to wear this one that I chose. I'm not going to wear it. Huh? Ex ex yeah, same thing. If I like Amen, it, if I like, right if I like it, then I wear it for sure. Good thing right now, it's the choice is only between shot out like outfits. outfits. <laughs> Let's wait. <laughs> wait until what? Huh? Well, Mama chooses other things for you. So, oh, like what? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> like right what? now, you're you're lucky. You should be happy that <laughs> wait, it's just what she's are you choosing to imply? outfits for you. What are you trying to imply wait, right she now? She's choosing people for you. Oh no! <laughs> wait till people. that happens. And, okay. then she's, and then she's gonna tell you you have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> so just you're I, lucky right now, just outfits. <laughs> you're lucky right now, just outfits. Oh my Anyways, gosh. Anyways, what what's a question that you have for me? Okay, let me get also one. we gotta start practicing a dance for Amazon. We gotta start doing all Dude, that. Dude, yeah. it's already July. Yeah, holy crap. Really two months just, literally. Yeah, what the Bro, literally oh two. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, you're crazy. Oh my god, crazy. Yes, crazy. Again, everything is on. <laughs> so what? You guys are waiting for me? <laughs> I mean, you're a good dancer. <laughs> no, I'm not, bro. I don't, freaking, I don't know any, No, I just watch. <laughs> Do you see this, guys? There, everybody just waits for Wadji. Let's wait for Wadji. Let's hit. Oh, he's doing anything. Let's wait, wait for him. Wait, but you got Do your you outfits ready, though? I just arrived. No, Come it's not. But my for men, it's I don't think it's that big of a hassle, is it? I think you guys have to coordinate with Amabai. So. Yeah, yeah, I got to coordinate with him. But yeah. still, yeah, everybody's waiting for me. Anyways, go. What's okay, the question? Okay, some questions. Hmm. I okay. just hope they can hear you because that mic setting is a bit, yeah. Is anyways, it okay? Lots going on in the household, y'all. A lot is going on. Arguing right before this, but hey, okay. that's what chat talk is all about. Huh? Okay, I have a question. Why do you always have to talk back to Mama G? Why do I always, why do I always have to talk back to Mama G? Hmm, yes. That's a great question. You know, there's certain people in your lives, in your lives that just like trigger you and ignite you. Like, there's certain people. I'm sure everybody has it. There's certain people in their life. Like the gasoline. For, for, yeah, for me, it's just Mama G. For me, it's like, she says something that just triggers me. Or it's just like, it just, it's just like, I don't know, man. I, I think this is why. actually need real therapy. No, but this is why it's healthy to have, like, distance and separation. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this, and but she doesn't understand that. <laughs> but this is why it's healthy to have that separate. Like, when I was living on my own, right? Like, th uh, things were great. Like, you know what I mean? Things were great. But I just talk... I, I got to work on that. I'm, I'll admit my faults in that, but it's just, there's certain people where they'll say something to you and you just like, can't control it, but to respond back. And Mama G is one of those. So that's why it's hard, man. It's tough. I get it from her too. She says, she talks back towards everything too. So I learned from her. Yeah. Okay. Another question. Will you be living with mom and dad or would you have your own place as an, even as a neighbor after marriage? Oh no, I'm having my own place. I've already said this multiple times in the episodes. <laughs> and she, Mama G knows that. I would love it where I'm close enough where I can come and see them and visit, but 1,000, 100,000, uh, <laughs> not to even as a neighbor. 100,000, a million, 100 million, freaking thousand, Infinity. which doesn't exist. But I think that's the word you That is 100% for... going to happen. Inshallah, inshallah, when I do get married. When? Inshallah. If, well, inshallah. Yeah, when are you getting married? I don't know, man. I don't know. Let Amad, you know, I think nowadays the trend is wait a little. 
So I'm just following yeah. the trend. <laughs> in your 30s, you'll find the right the, person. The, the trend is followed. I'm not in my 30s yet, so don't put me in there yet. But I'm hey, close. yo, one more year. But uh, but yeah, but I think uh, inshallah, when the time is right, when you know, when financially, when everything just kind of kind of aligns, basically, and it's all written, right, Amin? Exactly, it's, it's all, all written. It's all written, right? Trust in what plan? Trust in Allah's plan. Trust in Allah's plan. So yeah, <laughs> when I do, inshallah, that does happen. You hundred thousand percent need that uh, that distance, that separation. Okay, another question. Will you choose your children career and whose decision is it going to be on that? <laughs> Will I choose it to d kids career? Yes. Uh, your future kids career. No, I'm not going to choose it for them. I'll guide them if they have questions. I'll, I'll introduce them. I'll expose them to certain things. I'll be like, oh, that's a good thing. Oh, if you like this, you know what? You can study that. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll definitely like, like um, guide them into what it is that they, but then again, it's different. It's difficult, right? If they were to be like, I want to be a, uh, a musician. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, okay, great. No, say, yeah, say, say, if they say I want to be a musician, I'll be like, okay, cool. Yeah, do that on the side and have fun with that on the side, but still figure out like a thing that you want to do. What about you? How would you handle that? But yeah, the decision's up to the kid to make, bro, but I would guide them and help them. Exactly. But if it's something creative, I will for sure pursue it, but at the same time, have a, have something to fall back on. What about you? Same? Yeah, same. Yeah. And guidance. It's all the way, you know. Nice, nice. It's their life too, you know. Yeah, man. Well, our parents, <laughs> our parents don't understand. We gotta that. change it now. Yeah, we gotta change it, comes it with, with our us. generation. It ends with us. Wow! Speak louder for those it in the back. Say it again. Us. It ends with it's us. It's our life, right? <laughs> Let exactly. us live our life. It ends with us and it starts with us. Go, bro, I should get merch made that literally says, let me live. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> with the rose. Dude, that's a fire to you guys. I've been thinking of merch designs still. That's fire. Let me live. Or there are no boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> then Mama G's face on the back. Mama G with the chumcha. Let me live, bro. I swear. That's fire. That's a fire. Let me know if you guys are cop that. But okay. uh, but yeah, that's that's the answer to that. <laughs> It's just fun, bro. It's different from freaking me and Mama. She's just arguing. Keep going. Shit, man. <laughs> God damn. Okay. If you had to reparent me, what would you do differently? If I had to reparent you? Yes. Throw you in the deep end. Like you, <laughs> like, bro, like, you know what I mean? Like push you to be outside of your comfort zone. This, for example, right here, I'm pushing you out of, to be outside of your comfort zone. And I have to force you to almost do it. Right. It's like, it's like. Like push you to to be able to take risk and be more comfortable, be more ex out there in the life, and not constantly baby you. You've been so freaking baby. You want the license situation, bro? I'll push your but ass. But I'm a baby. No, but you're not anymore, bro. I'm a no, baby. you're not anymore. You're freaking. You're not. When I was your age. Just stop, okay, bro. Okay, yeah. Just when stop. I was your age, yeah. you sound like mom right now. <laughs> I don't care. When I was your yeah, age, see, I did this I, and this and this. That's what I'll this. do as a parent. No, literally, bro. You've been too loud. Like, yo, let me know if you guys can relate. All the younger siblings out there, bro, that have been too babied. Like, freaking me and Ahmed had to go through the damn trenches, bro. We figured stuff out on our own. We did all this stuff on our own. We, like, bro, we had to go through the trenches. You just been ha handing everything to you in a silver platter. Figuring out college, how to do it, we, everything. Figuring out how to get to college, how to get into schools, what to study, how to pursue a law degree, how to how to apply, how to write an essay, like all these things, bro. You like you've been handed it to. You're well, a first gen though. You are a first gen too, but, but we I'm... paved the way for the younger <laughs> siblings, and you just been too freaking babied, bro. Like like I would, yeah, hundred percent. I'll be forcing you to do way more stuff than what you've been. What's the best thing you've ever done for me? The best thing I've ever done for you? Yes. What is? I think that's something that you have to answer. That's something for you to answer. What's the best thing I've ever done for you? I don't know. Me and you would always go out to movies a movies. lot. Me and I you would always be going to the movies. Getting I, boba. I feel like for me, I've I've spent more time with you than like anybody else. Because you're yeah. always home. Yeah. Well, I mean, even when I wasn't, I would still fly in for your birthday. That's true. I would still come That's in for your so birthday. That's so true. Yeah, even when I wasn't Abbott here. I wasn't there for my your... 15, 16, 17, yeah, 18. exactly. No, 19. Wasn't one time he was even living in LA, but he went somewhere and he still didn't come, like something like that. Like he was like in LA. But then he had to travel somewhere and he still didn't make it to your birthday. I don't know. Like, I feel like... Yeah, Bro. I wasn't... Yeah. Wait, 15, 16, 17. He hasn't been here for all your birthday? It's been seven years. Back to back? Say, back to back. Saying. You're 15, joking. 15, 16, 17. I even took you to catch. I took you to Yamashita. I took you exactly. to all those nights. Yeah. Exactly. You're the only one. Even when I'm not even like... I fly. I've, I think I flew in one time too. I'm pretty sure. Wait, when I was living in New York, I was... I came back mm -hmm. by then. I think yeah, I came, back, came back, by back by then. But what about when I was in uh, San Francisco? That one year. What did we do for your birthday? What did you do for your birthday? You were there. I was there? You were See, there. See, well, then how did that happen then? Because I was in school at that time. Yeah, how did that happen then? You made time. See, I came. See, see, you see, made time. I see, I, I, for me, I would say the best thing I would do is probably like, it's to show up. 
Exactly. I've showed up at least. <laughs> I've showed up. I mean, we go to the movie. We've had some good times, man. We would always go to the movies and whatnot. So. Exactly. What else? But what would you say is the best thing I've done for you? Showing up. Showing up. Yeah. Oh, we know. I would always take you to go get boba. Boba movies. Feed, yeah, feed drive her. you places. Yeah, drive you places. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, what else? What's your favorite thing about me? Dude, you have a lot of patience. I feel like you like, yeah, you have a lot of patience. Like you don't let things get get to you. Like if mom says things, or if like I know if we're we're coming at you, we're talking down upon you, or like we're like saying do this, you that, or like look at you, like you can't even like we say these things. But you have, I feel like you have a thick skull. Is that true? Would you say you have a thick skull? Like how do you deal with that? Like when we when we tell you like what do you freaking do? Stop being a bum. You don't even have your life. When we tell you all these, things, <laughs> how does that make you feel? Do you just not give a shit? Like how does that make you feel? Do you actually feel like? Like, how does it make you feel whenever we talk down in a way? And that's inevitable. Every, like, let's, let's, let's be real right now. Everybody's talked down to their sibling. Like, come on. So how, how, do, you, how do you feel? How, does, how do you take that? I just keep, keep it in. But how do you push it? Like, how do you keep pushing? Well, look, I just suppress it, basically. Okay, but that's also not going to suppress. Does it, does it actually get to you? Let's get a little deep here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on Chai Talk. <laughs> does it ever get to you? It does, yes. The negativity? Talk, it does. Tell me about it. Maybe, t this is your moment to tell mm. me. So would you, I can I can realize it too. Like this is your moment to open up. Stop being negativity on me. No, but how does it affect you? <laughs> Think, bro, answer, man. Get deep. Let's freaking crack the damn surface with your ass. Come on. How does it? Got you you can't break me. No, but come on, tell me, dude. It's like pulling teeth here. <laughs> you don't freaking tell me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm asking you how it makes you feel. It makes I'm not me asking sad. you to solve this damn math problem. It makes me Shit, sad. Bro. Upset and sad. Okay, but like, what does it do to you? I. <laughs> oh my god, I'm freaking. I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't, go deep. I can't, I can't go deep. Go try. Go deep. Try. Try. Really try to get deep, man. I really can't. <laughs> I can't go deep. Try, please try. Um, Good God damn, bro. <laughs> see, what I, see what I have to deal with? Go. <laughs> try to get deep. Um. Does it impact your mental state? That's what I'm asking. Does it impact your mental health? Or do you not care? You just let it go by. Who gives a shit? I exactly not. I don't care. So you don't because let it get to you? I don't get it, get it to me. Okay, so how do you how do you do that? How do you not let it get to you? Like for anybody out there that it gets to them. It goes in one ear and goes out the other ear. So you're just able to do that? Yes. And not pay attention to it? And pay attention to it. But do you ever be it. like, damn, maybe they're right? Yes, I do. Like, yeah. Yeah. I want to I wanna change sometimes, but then I'm just like, uh. I'm too lazy. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay, keep going, bro. Gosh. <laughs> it's another question. Uh, okay. Tell What's me, your man. favorite Islamic scholars? My favorite Islamic scholars would be, I think recently, of Omar Suleiman, given, you know, the whole series that he's been doing um, throughout the Ramadan series and all that. But a big one that I was like kind of uh, in college and in high school where I started getting into it was Yasir Qadi because I listened to the Sira. The I listened Sira. to like his The Life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Mm -hmm. And like literally like um, just listening to that, like I that was that was I would highly suggest for those that are trying to get closer to the deen to to listen to the Sira, which is the life, you know, of the Prophet. And and I would it was that like changed my life in a way. And Yasir Qadi was the one that would made that just made it so simple and just made it so easy to digest and take it all in. And it was it kept you engaged and intrigued. So yeah. I would say that. But for the short stuff and for the all that Omar Suleiman, I like, love Omar Suleiman. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's really been good. he's been a staple in everybody's houses. Yeah. I feel like for the past he's really good. year, I love his series. Yeah, on series, series all type of series he has for sure <clears throat> what else mm, that's not one of your good questions so let me think you had to ask me another one about um the being grounded or uh or uh, how i stay grounded or like the other school like school stuff or like whatever all these things like that i feel like that could be beneficial yeah has right? has doing a lot for the family ever gotten to your head and how do you stay grounded has doing a lot for the family ever gone to my head it hasn't gotten to my head in any way because I still feel like it's not enough. So mm -hmm. it's no, it's not gone into my head. It's only made me feel like, bro, like what more do you guys want from me? 
because they still want more from me. They still expect more. They still want more. So it's not gone into my head because it's still, it's just upsetting because it's like, bro, no matter what I do, no matter how much I can do, no matter how much I can give, no matter how much I can, whatever it is, like whether, a lemon. literally, Man, no matter what, how much squeeze. I can squeeze out of myself, <laughs> it's still like, comments are being made little <laughs> things like that are still being oh why don't you bring us home something like there's so many little things that are still being said and made in those comments in a desi household that are made where it still feels like it's never enough so me doing a lot hasn't gone into my head it's only it's just frustrating that i can do everything still but still not feel appreciated and still not feel like it's enough so it's so trust me in a desi household things like that will never get to your head but it will frustrate you because you realize it's never enough. So that's how I stay grounded, bro. Cause I don't feel like I've done it. Cause I'm reminded that I haven't done anything yet. Does that make sense? I'm waiting for you to kind of start picking up the slack a little bit. And, uh, yeah, and, give me like a couple of years. Yeah, I'm waiting for you, I'm waiting for you to give me a couple of years. kind of left these bricks <laughs> off the one by one, just a little bit, not all of them, but just, you know, just a little bit, just, just yeah. come on, just lift it up just a little bit, please, man. Get sore I got, over here. I got you, I got Shut you up, back Come though. on, bro, I need that, man. But anyways, how does it make you feel? Do you ever feel like wanting to like be like, dang, man, like, let me like. Dude, I sometimes wish I was like at least two years older than you. Really? Why? I don't know. Like, I don't like being we're the youngest. six years apart, right? Yeah, we're six years yeah, apart. Yeah. Because I'm not established yet. I yeah. still have a lot way more to go, yeah. you know? Yeah, for sure. If I was younger than, if I was like two years, yeah. two, three years younger than you, I think I would be established. I would have actually helped you then. Yeah, we would be in the same space. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I appreciate you saying that. That doesn't mean a lot yeah. of the fact that you would even want to be in that situation. So that's... I always that's tell weird. mom, like, mom, why why was I born six years um, yeah, later. apart? Yeah. Like, yeah. why, why, like... I think there's beauty in it too because it's like me and Amadou are only two years apart. So it's like... We kind of grew up together and then you kind of grew up separately in a sense. Right? Yeah. Like I was Which, the only child but, when you guys were away. But then away. again, it gave us something to like look forward to, right? It gave us, <laughs> it gave mom and them something to look forward to. So it's like, <laughs> even though it still is in a way, like it's like, separ it's like a lot of I years. My mom was a hot dog. When but, no yeah, but it home. gave us something to look, it gave you another perspective or life you look forward to. Whereas if we all grew up around the same timeline, then maybe it wouldn't be as, I don't know. But I think it there's pros and cons. It wouldn't be as chaotic, I don't think. I think there's pros and cons to both. But definitely, yeah, man. If you could help these bricks. <laughs> Anyways, um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, would you ever integrate my future husband? Inter would I ever interrogate your future? Well, the thing is, I don't. Mama G's <laughs> just gonna choose. Right now, she's choosing outfits for you. So you know what it is. She's just gonna choose for you, and that's gonna be. She that. keeps telling me, "Go find a doctor. Go find a oh doctor." Oh my God! What is this freaking obsession with doc? See, that's what I'm saying. And we had this whole discussion on our podcast too. It's like, bro, okay, yeah, go find a doctor. Okay, how do you know if that's a good person? How do you exactly. know if they're good people? How do you know if they're how on the dean? Know? How do you know if they're so good? Like, just because they're, but then, hey, but they're a doctor. <laughs> how do you even want to know if you want to marry a doctor? Like, bro, like, would you want to marry a doctor? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Bro, it's just, it's just, I feel like it's forget about their my, title. Even though my career is healthcare. But still, I'm not going to marry Why, a doctor. Why though? Is it because of the desi persona and perception of that constantly being fed to you? Yeah. So now you want to do something different? I want to do something different. What I'm if it wasn't? What if that constant thing wasn't fed to you? Then it would have been nice? Yeah, 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 for sure. So I feel like, yeah. Yeah. I feel like, like I want to do, you know, a different, like, um, since I'm already in healthcare, you know, and you're a lawyer, I'm with Bayez, works in Microsoft. Yeah. I don't want someone to be different from everyone else, you yeah, know? Yeah, just something like, but what would you want though? Engineer. What? <laughs> this is the first time I've heard this. Why engineer? Because they're good at math. <laughs> and we suck at math. <laughs> exactly. But that's so funny. You're still choosing, I mean, you're still choosing a traditional engineer, lawyer, doctor. Like, but at the end of the day, I, mean, I get it. Like, as women, they should want to feel secure. And they should choose a husband that is able to provide them security, that's able to provide them sta stability, financial stability in every single way. But at the end of the day, I think it should be less on the title. It should be more mm -hmm. on the akhlaq. It should be more on the and character. Yeah, I know, yes. Right? Let's get a little snaps for that. Dean first, for sure. It should be more on the person's character. But Dean at the end and of the day, character and personality. Stability, for sure, they should still be able to be able to provide. But that doesn't mean you have to do it to the traditional roles of doctor, lawyer, yeah. engineer. But now, do you get annoyed whenever you hear doctor or married doctor? Do you get annoyed at that? I get very annoyed. I'm like, no. I'm annoyed at that shit, too. I'm so annoyed. Whenever they say Mary, I that shit pisses me off, bro. <laughs> It's like, like there's so many other careers. There are so many jobs out there. Like, choose something different. Why did you once? guys become doctors? 
<laughs> exactly. Literally. Why did you guys like, why are you making me marry one? Like, why do I have to marry? Why does that have to be what? the golden? <laughs> exactly. The right? golden rule. Like, why don't you, why don't you guys? The golden become... ticket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the golden <What> ticket. <laughs> like, why don't they freaking become doctors, bro? And then they want us to marry them. <laughs> You should have married a doctor. <laughs> I know. Instead, you got Papa G. <laughs> <laughs> you want someone to diagnose you, huh? yeah. bro? That's what it is, bro. It's it's thing, and now it's to a point where it's like you get annoyed whenever you hear that. So yeah, and but, Sonic Boy and I like during my clinical rotations, they're so old. The doctors? doctors, of course. And I'm like, no. Of course. I mean, they're all young, but it's like you got to go through a lot to even get to the point where you're actually practicing. So. Exactly. Yeah. But shout out to all the doctors out there. I mean, that's not to say that you guys haven't worked hard and you guys haven't made something for yourself. It's just I'm really more so talking about the the desi obsession around having to marry one. That is probably the biggest thing. But in terms of interrogating, yeah, I would probably interrogate. Why not? For sure. Mm -hmm. I think everybody would. Uh, I think yeah. I think you yeah, should. I think that's, Good question. that's definitely something that I would mm -hmm. do. Amma mm -hmm. too. Oh yeah, I'm over for sure. Yeah. I wouldn't be intimidating though, I don't think. Maybe I No, I be. think it would be cool. You think so? Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I'm I'm done it. Like, like, on it. Maybe we'll just it. marry someone from Pakistan. No, 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 school related like staying motivated mm -hmm. and i feel like i want to uh, hopefully i can give some advice to you at least on that so like around like okay let me ask you is it tough for you to stay motivated through 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 college through schools and having to do until like seeing not getting to the end goal yes yeah? exactly it is right like mm -hmm. how do you deal with that like how do you do you get burnt out do you get tired like how do you stay motivated yeah it's very burning out yeah. it is right yeah. yeah i think throughout <laughs> dude the thing is a lot of people don't realize it goes by so fast mm -hmm. where I miss those days. I miss school and I honestly miss having that grind of that higher goal. A goal that you know that you see and that you know it's close mm -hmm. and that you can reach. Mm -hmm. Like because it's only a matter of steps and stages and it's a matter of passing this. Uh, first of all, it's completing years and it's passing this exam. Whatever the case may be, it's like it's tangible. It's like tangible visual steps and goals that you can hit and that you can meet. Mm -hmm. So it's so much easier. It's so much easier when you're able to see it, when you're able to know what it's going to, like, you know, like, you know, you know the steps, right? I know the you steps. Know, you, know, you know the steps when you it comes to school, steps. guys, when it comes to whether, whether it's nursing, medical, whether it's lawyer, what, whatever it is, everybody knows the steps of how to get to where you need to get to because you got to pass this exam. You got to finish your school. You got to get this GPA. You got to get into that. You got to pr pass this, whatever the case may be, right? Whether, even if it's standardized <laughs> tests, you can see, you can see that the, 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 the thing, the Munzer right there, the goal right there. It's only a matter of Munzer. getting to it, right? That is motivating itself in the sense of, you know what you need to do. And now I just need to go through this and do the best that I can and get to it. Whereas the tougher part is after you've done all that. Cause then what's the goal after that? That well, I will Live tell your you life guys, after that. No, but that is the toughest thing I dealt with as well. It's like, bro, I reached my goal. Get into a great law school. Find a new goal then. Find a new dream. Do the LSAT. Pass the bar exam. Get a great job at a firm. Like, I've done all that. Once I did all that, because those were tangible, visual things that I can see and hit, once you've hit that, what's next? Yeah, Marriage. become successful. But you don't, but there's no other, like, visual. <laughs> there's no other, like, like, set in stone step to take for you to reach your goal. Everything else is just, you start to figure things out at that point. But when you're in school, bro, you have tangible steps that you know that you need to do X, Y, Z to get to the end goal. I'm just tired of school. I, I have know, exams but all I'm saying is, bro, you, like, understand that this is just a process for the time being. And it's a process that you just need to kill and accomplish. And once you reach that goal, you, you're you good, you're set. And just oh, and you have that goal in mind. Inshallah. Like, it's there. It's there. Passing this exam, it's there. Just it's put there. your 110% effort in. Exactly. And just know that it's going to all work out. As and if long you don't, as you try your best, you know. Always try your best in everything. Mm -hmm. One thing I always say when it comes Hard to exams. Hard work always pays off. Standard times, to standardized tests, whatever the case may be, bro, put your full faith, 110% effort, and whatever happens, happens, leave it to Allah at that point. But as long as you know you did your best, then you're good. As long mm -hmm. as you know you did your best, then you have no regrets to look back at. You have nothing to be like, oh, I could have done 5% more. I could have done 10% more. That's why when I was studying for the LSAT, I gave you him 110%. But I give him 110%, and whatever the outcome was, I was happy with it. Even mm -hmm. if I didn't do as well as I did, I'll, that's one thing you should keep in mind, I mean. 
whenever it comes to exams, now even if you have once you get once you have to you have to pass like a boards exam, whatever it is, yeah. to actually start mm-hmm. practicing, you like give it your a hundred ten percent. And if you do that, then you will be happy no matter the outcome because mm-hmm. you know that you, you could do, not have you, physically, you put the work mentally in. done anything yeah. more. Mm-hmm. So that's all I'm saying is like, just do it and just so you will be happy mentally. And that is the biggest thing. And then if you have to run it back and do it all over again, then do it. This time you'll do it even better. And this time you'll pass it, whatever the case may be. So all I'm saying that's is true. it's easier in the stage you're at. Mm-hmm. The tougher part is what comes after when you don't have a goal in mind and you don't know what is the X, Y, or A, B, C thing to do to get to Z. Right now, you're in that stage where you know you need to do A, B, C, and I'll get to Z. Okay. What's after that? Allah that's, Johnny. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is the tough part. Allah John, everything Allah is John. written. So hopefully that's helpful for anybody out there that's that's lacking in motivation. <laughs> Allah John, and Nano, you salam kena ya? Wa alaikum salam. My Nano's right here. My Nano's with, Nano's with us. Yeah, I see. Ameen. Wa alaikum salam. उन लोगों को आपकी आवाज़ नहीं आ रही क्योंकि आपको यहाँ पर बोलना पड़ेगा नहीं छोड़ दो ओके ठीक है लेडीज जब वो सब लोग शी सेंग सलाम टू एवरीबॉडी एंड वालेकुम असलम मेक शोर सेंड दैट मैसेज एनी अदर लास्ट क्वेश्चंस बिफोर वी रैप दिस अप आई थिंक वी वी गॉट वी गॉट अ गुड गुड अमाउंट ऑफ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस इन वी गॉट अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ लेट्स नो इफ यू गाइस लाइक दिस लिटिल क्यूएनएस दैट वी डू नेक्स्ट टाइम वी कैन डू अ मोर ऑफ लाइक अ प्लान्ड वन दिस वाज काइंड ऑफ इंप्रोम्प्टु बट एनी लास्ट वंस दैट यू वांट टू व्हाट्स योर फर्स्ट थिंग ऑन योर बकेट लिस्ट फर्स्ट थिंग ऑन माय बकेट लिस्ट यस I don't a bucket list. That's a. Do you have a bucket list? I don't have a bucket list, but like a like a crazy thing. Bucket list. I have goals. It's different from a bucket list. Bucket list could be like I don't know. Travel. Skydiving is a bucket list, or living like. Skydiving is a bucket list, or living like. Would you Europe. ever live internationally? Yeah, I want to live in like in like Dubai, a Muslim country maybe? for like a couple months. That's definitely bucket list. Yeah. yeah. Where do you Where do you wanna? Do you want to live in America? Huh? Oh, she. My nana needs a Quran. You know. Do you want to live? Which yeah. time you love Europe, don't you, Amen? I love Europe. Yes, 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 yes. You've Europe. never even yeah, you have been, but you haven't been at this one. That was a you... I was a bro, I was a baby. I was like a child. I don't remember anything. You've been to Turkey? I've been to Turkey, yes, but it was during winter time. And I need to go in the summer or the spring time where it's more sunny. It was raining and cold. I could not enjoy it. Can you tell me what is this obsession that Pakistani or South Asian women have with actually Pakistani women have with Turkey Turkish men? <laughs> No, genuinely. <laughs> okay. no, gen- no, genuinely. <laughs> Freaking Papa G. Tell me, genuinely, what the heck? Genuinely, genuinely. Turkish eggs. No, she, no, but no, 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 no. What the f- <laughs> What the shit did you just... <laughs> no, actually, though, what is this? What the hell? Don't ever do that shit again. Wait, tell me. Hold on. What is this obsession that Pakistani women have with, like, Turkish men? And I think... <laughs> I think it's to do with the dramas. Is it dramas for sure? Is it, it's because they're good looking. Yeah, but there's. Have you met a real in real life? Have you seen good Turkish? L- t- no, I don't. I think it's more so personal <laughs> in the dramas, bro. I think all the Turkish. Yeah, like I don't. I haven't met any like Turkish guys actually, or like I don't know. <laughs> I haven't that I've met like oh he's good looking like oh yeah, but like I feel like it's more so like the oh, yeah. like the men in the shows. <laughs> Then again, I haven't gone to Turkey in a while. But no, dude, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to talk about this. Let's talk. Freaking damn, Pakistani women and their damn obsessions, bro. Freaking. Anyways, um, do you want to marry Pakistani? I'll end on that. I'll ask you. No. Why? They're toxic. I feel like this. Like all Pakistani women say that. Well, who? Like They're what toxic. is it then? Turkish. Turkish is a bit better. Yes. You haven't even like. What do you mean? Like you don't. You only thing that you know about Turkish guys is through the damn dramas. How do you? Hey, know you speak? never know. Okay. You never know. I don't want to continue this conversation, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> thank you for joining this week's side talk. If you guys enjoyed it, let us know. If you guys want to see more of this Q and A, let next us know. Next time, Papa G. Next time, Papa G. Yes. Freaking Papa G, bro. It's like both Amen and Papa G. It's like it's like I'm trying to crack the surface, but I can't. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if I talked a lot, apologize. Did no, I talk fine. too much? No, it's fine. It's good. We need to go. That's what you want. That's all. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Anyways, do this more. I mean, see, it's fun, bro. It's fun. Let's do this more often. Anyways, again, thank you guys for joining. Okay. <laughs> last words. Any last words? It ends with us. And it, it ends starts, with us. It ends with Let me live the- my life. <laughs> Let me live <laughs> my life. I'm going to make that a merch. <laughs> I need to make merch. Let me live. And the face of a, a chum <laughs> chum. Oh, that would be the- good, huh? Face of a hand with a thing. That would be actually fire. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Any merch people out there, any designers out there that got ideas, let me know. Graphic hit designers. Me, hit me in my DMs. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for joining this week's Bye. episode. Bye.
Hope you guys have a great one. Stay blessed and always, always, always. Stay beautiful. Peace, y'all.